Hello, and thank you for joining us. I'm Miss Jennifer, and I'm usually at the Topeka New Branch Library, but today I'm coming to you from my house. And I'm excited because I get to share one of my favorite books with you in honor of El Dia de los Niños, El Dia de los Libros, otherwise known as DIA or in English, Children's Day Book Day. DIA is an annual celebration on or around April 30th that focuses on the importance of literacy for all children, no matter what language they speak or where they come from. Each story matters, every child counts. We know how essential it is for children to see themselves reflected in the books they read, as well as exploring worlds unfamiliar to them. So at the library, we work hard to have books and programs all year long that celebrate this. And today, I get to celebrate this with you, along with some very special guests. So helping us out with our program today, we have some friends I would like you to meet. Are you guys there? Hi. Can you say hello? Hi. And can you tell us your names? Who do we have helping us today? I'm Isabella. I'm Sophia. And I'm Ms. Diana. Excellent. Thank you and welcome. So you guys will be able to help us out with a few things today. We're going to start with a song. We like to sing when we start our story time. So I'm going to teach you a few signs before we start our song. So we're going to be doing some American Sign Language. And we're going to start with the sign for hello. So hello, we bring our hands up to our forehead and extend it out like a salute. Can you do that? Very good. Next, I'm going to teach you the sign for friends. We take one bendy finger on one hand and one bendy finger on the other, and they give each other a hug. Can you do that? Great. We also do time by pointing at our wrist and say we tap just below our mouth when we do that, okay? Do you want to try the song with me? You can follow along with the sign language if you want to. If you want to sing as well, that would be great. It's called Hello Friend. Should we try it? Yeah. Hello Friend. Hello Friend. Hello Friend. It's fun to say hello. Very good. You did great with that. Now we're going to try it incorporating some other languages. Because sharing words from different languages is just another way that we're going to be celebrating Dia today. So I'm going to grab my ukulele for this. This is something I've been practicing while I've been at home away from the library. I'm still new to it. Um, so we're going to try it nice and slow with this. But we're going to do some Spanish, and maybe that's going to be new for some of you. Can someone tell me how we say hello in Spanish? Hola. 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 Exactly. So we're going to say hola instead of hello in our song. And then we're also going to use the word for friends in Spanish. What is that? Amigos. Amigos. Very good. So instead of saying hello, friends, we're going to sing hello, hola, amigos. And I'm going to try it with my ukulele. If you want to continue to do the signs as we sing along, you can do it like that too. Okay, should we try Hola Amigos? Yes, let's try it. There we go. Hola Amigos. Hola Amigos. Hola Amigos. It's time to say Hola. Excellent. Wonderful, you did great with that. Thank you for helping us out. Now that we've tried some Spanish, I think we're ready to read our story. So we're gonna be reading to you the book, Dreamers, which is written and illustrated by Juji Morales and published by Holiday House. So we wanna thank them for giving us permission to share it. I'll be reading the book in English and Miss Diana is going to be reading it in Spanish. Now you may notice there are actually some Spanish words and English words in both versions of the book. So keep your eyes out on that. And if you don't understand part of it, you might be able to tell by looking closely at the pictures, what they're referring to, okay? Another thing I wanna point out, if we look at the cover of our book here, you'll see it has a special sticker on the front. Uh, this book is an award winner. It won the Pura Bell Prey Award, along with many other honors. 
Um, and anytime you see this sticker on a book, it usually means the book is going to be a really good one. So I would definitely recommend keeping your eyes out for those kind of award winners when you're looking for things to read. All right, let's see if Miss Deanna is back with us to start the story. There, there we go. All right. So here we have Dreamers by Juji Morella. And you may notice in my book too, it looks like there's a scribble in there. If you have a library book, please don't write in your book. This is a special copy that is signed by the author illustrator. That's why it's got words inside there. All right, so Dreamers by Juji Morales. I dreamed of you, then you appeared. Together we became amour, love, amour, resplendent life. You and I. Soñé contigo y llegaste. Juntos, ahora éramos amor, love, amor. Una vida resplandeciente. Tú y yo. One day we bundled gifts in our backpack and crossed a bridge outstretched like the universe. Un día empacamos nuestra mochila y cruzamos un puente tan extenso como el universo, llevando con nosotros nuestros regalos. Adiós, corazón. And when we made it to the other side, thirsty, in awe, unable to go back, we became immigrants. Y cuando llegamos al otro lado, sedientos, sobrecogidos, sin poder volver atrás, nos convertimos en inmigrantes. Migrantes, you and I, the sky and the land welcomed us in words unlike those of our ancestors. Migrantes, tú y yo. La tierra y el cielo nos recibieron con palabras diferentes a las de nuestros ancestros. There were so many things we didn't know, unable to understand and afraid to speak. We made lots of mistakes. Había tantas cosas que desconocíamos, sin poder entender y con miedo a hablar, cometimos Muchos errores. You and I became caminantes. Tú y yo ahora caminantes. Thousands and thousands of steps we took around this land until the day we found a place we had never seen before. Suspicious. Improbable. Miles y miles de pasos vimos por esta tierra hasta que encontramos un lugar que nunca antes habíamos visto. Misterioso. Fantástico. Unbelievable, surprising. Increíble, sorprendente. Unimaginable. Inimaginable. Where we didn't need to speak, we only needed to trust. And we did. Donde no necesitábamos hablar, solo confiar. Y eso hicimos. Books became our language. Books became our home. Books became our lives. We learned to read. Los libros se convirtieron en nuestro, nuestra lengua. Los libros se convirtieron en nuestro hogar. Los libros se convirtieron en nuestra vida. 
y tú y yo aprendimos a leer. To speak, to write, and to make our voices heard. A hablar, a escribir, y a hacer oír nuestras voces. Someday, we will become something we haven't even yet imagined. Algún día, llegaremos a ser algo que aún ni siquiera nos imaginamos. But right now, pero por ahora, we are stories. We are two languages. We are lucha. We are resistance. We are hope. We are dreamers, soñadores of the world. Somos historias, somos dos lenguas, somos lucha, somos tenacidad, somos esperanza, somos soñadores, soñadores del mundo. We are love, so, love, amor, amor. love. And that is the end of our story. Thank you so much, Ms. Tiana, for reading this one with me. We'll check back in with you in a little bit. Um, but we're going to talk for the moment about some of the artwork in our stories. So this book is a very personal journey for the author. She was hearing people saying negative things about immigrants or the people who leave the country they were born in to live somewhere else. And she wanted to tell about her own journey from Mexico with her young son. She realized that by sharing her experience, she was giving a voice to many who had experienced similar things. One way to do that is with words, and another way we can do that is through art. So let's take a closer look at some of the art in this book. It has some beautiful illustrations, and if you look closely, you can see a lot of interesting things that were done in the book. You can see a lot of bright colors, and you can see a lot of different elements that were put together to make the picture. So we've got these big flowers here. We've got the characters. We've got things happening in the sky, all the different books. And lots of different elements that she incorporated from her own history. Uh, you can see she used actual string here in the picture. And there are feathers along the animal here. And some of these books that are throughout the story or pictures are ones that either she drew as a child or her son made. So lots of personal elements with it. So what we're going to be doing is some art inspired by the book today. The kind of art that's in this book is a collage, which is a piece of art created with a variety of materials. And so we're going to be doing a project like that today. So I have uh, something here to start with. Um, if you have art supplies at home and you want to use construction paper for this, if you have paints and markers, all of that is great. But if you don't, you can still make art. So I'm going to be using a lot of recycled materials with what we use today, things that you can just find around the house. So some ideas are pictures from magazines, or this was actually from the zoo, it came in the mail. Um, so you might have images like that you could use, or old photographs, things that you could take from a birthday card, um, something like that, that could be used for it. I also cut out some shapes from a Kleenex box, so I could get these different colors in it. And something to keep in mind when you're making art is that it's about the experience, the process of making the art. It's about having fun and exploring something new. So you don't need to be too concerned with how it's going to look when it's done and just have fun with making it. Especially if you have younger children, it can just be more of a sensory experience. You can do pairing of materials, you can feel the different textures using things like paper or 
bubble wrap, if you have scraps of fabric. So you can make it a sensory experience where you're not so concerned with how it looks, or you can focus on things like colors and shapes and get some of those fine motor skill practices in, just working on cutting or tearing or gluing, all that down can be great for building those skills. If you do want to make something a little bit more elaborate, you've got a little bit older kids that you're working with, uh, you can think about the message that we got in the book today and dreams that you might have or things you might want to tell about your personal story, where you're from. So you can use that as an inspiration for putting together the different materials and creating something new and fun. So you can think about what kind of story you want to share. And we would love to see what you make that you could share with us. So we're gonna check back in with our guests in a moment here and see what kind of sharing um, or what kind of art they might have to share with us. Uh, if you made art at home, you can share it with us on MPL Storytime Art. Um, you can use that hashtag or tagging the Milwaukee Public Library on our social media to show us what you were working on with this inspiration. We also have links along with the video to other websites that might help inspire you. Um, you can learn more about DIA and we've got book suggestions and other great things that you can explore with family and friends in our community and beyond as we all come together to celebrate our unique story. We do miss seeing you at the library. Uh, we hope you continue to join us with our morning story times, Monday through Friday at 10.30 a.m. We also have a pajama story time on Monday night at 6.30 p.m. Please check the library's website for a full schedule and more information about our virtual offerings for all ages. So before we sing our goodbye song, Miss Deanna, are you back? They might not be with us anymore. They might have lost their connection there. Okay, well, oh, there we go. We have our guest. Have you been working on an art project? Yes. Do you have something you'd like to share with us? Do you want to show us your project that you've been doing? Yes. Can you hold it up so we can see? Oh, hold it up nice and steady so we can see. Oh, Isabella, I see you have a lot of animals on yours. Why did you pick animals for your picture? Because I wanted to explore. You like to explore. Excellent. And Sophie, can you tell us what's in your picture? You've got a animals. lot of animals. Lots of animals. That's very fun. Excellent. Well, would you like to help me with our goodbye song? Yes. Yes. It sounds a lot like our hello song, but instead of saying hello, we're going to say goodbye like this, like a wave, right? So can we do it in English with our hand signs and then we'll try it again in Spanish? Should we do that? Can we sing? Yes. Yeah. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Good, and let's try it one final time in Spanish. How do we say goodbye in Spanish? Adios. 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 And can you remind us how do we say friends? Amigos. Amigos. So we're going to say adios, amigos, as we sing our goodbye song. Are you ready? Adios, amigos. Adios, amigos. Adios, amigos. It's time to say adios. Bye bye. Thank you so much for helping us today. We hope to see you soon. Bye bye, Miss Jennifer. Thank bye. you for having us. Bye.